Okay, guys, I want to make a quick video uh, kind of recapping uh, my talk, my dating talk at SOPOT Summit, uh, the dating conference in Poland last month. So I'm going to put my face here. I'm trying to get back on <clears throat> regular YouTube videos. I had a quick break. One chick just left, another one's coming over. And we'll be here in like 10 minutes. So I'm going to try to rip through this. As I said in the last video I just put out with Sunny, uh, I'm going to be staying in Europe for the next year uh, in Poland, uh, but bouncing around different parts of Europe. <clears throat> so I'm currently at 9.51, uh, Lay's um, mostly been just banging my rotation. I have 12 rotation girls in Poland, which is like a fucking full-time job, <laughs> apart from running my business and doing Muay Thai kickboxing in, in the gym. Um, so, at the time of soap, I was at 9.40, currently 9.51, the girl on the way over I think is going to be 9.52 because we already had a couple dates and she didn't close yet. Alright, but I'm just going to go through some of these slides, um, blah blah blah, bang, three week, 26 girls the first three weeks. I was in Warsaw, a Polish journalist wrote an article about me while undercover, and she's actually still in my rotation. Um, there's nine chicks at that point. I, I bumped it up a little bit. Um, I've had to cut some of the girls off from the rotation just because there's not enough time to see them all. Um, on like any given night, this is quality problems to have, but on any given night, there's three or four chicks that want to sleep over. And there's, they're, they're all trying to hang out with me all the time, so, but I try to you know, service them equally, except for the main one. She gets to see me, see me a little more. All right, so that's who's here from there. J-Mob, a whole bunch of the audience was. Um, as I said this in other videos, pickup is no different than other skill games, poker, chess, basketball, um, tons of examples of, of skill games. What defines a successful poker player, chess player, basketball player? Okay, poker player, lifetime earnings, um, did I talk about this? Lifetime, er lifetime earnings, um, average earnings per month, chess player, um, world rank, how many wins, um, win rate versus lose rate, quantitative metrics, and also qualitative metrics factor in as well. Um, successful basketball player, look at LeBron James and Michael Jordan, it's winning. A lot of this comes down to winning and it comes down to results, it comes down to skill. So same applies to pickup. Um, to me, the best objective metric of uh, someone's skill and pickup is the number of girls he's closed. I have a whole separate video about how late count matters. I'm not going to recover all that stuff. That's on my channel as well. And I talk about those things. These other factors here, average quality of the girls, average, average time in the game, um, which cities and countries were gamed. Um, and then the lay rate. Um, it took me 11 years to bang my first 100 chicks. And then I started closing about 100 a year, and I made some key breakthroughs, and I got 143 in 2015. And then this past year, from 2017 to 2018, not January 1st to whatever, but to about July, middle of July 2018 to middle of July um, 2017, there was 240 new in that year. And that doesn't even count all the girls that gave blowjobs and handjobs and didn't close. Um, and I, I did this little exercise with people in the room, raise your hand if you've been with this many people, most hands went down by 50, and then there was, no pun intended, there was less than a handful of guys, over 200 plus, and that was just, they were all other speakers at the summit, and they weren't too far ahead, like 250, 300, whatever. Um, I made an updated Laycom graph <laughs> for this conference, um, so as you can see, the first 100. I lost my virginity in 2001, blah, blah, blah. I'm not trying to objectify the whole thing, but this, this is kind of how you can measure your skills, the current count, and the, the amount you're closing per month, the amount you're closing per year. So this represents a lot of skill here. Um, what contributed to my progression? Again, I've talked about this in other videos. I was in a forum called Top Beast. They put together the 30 best guys in the game. That talking to all those guys and finding the common overlap in key areas is what allowed me to form the origins of my method. And then 
that was around 2012. Then now that I'm making this video in 2018, um, I been evolving and optimizing the method over the, over six years. Okay, it was deadly in 2012. Like, I was still able to fuck around 100 girls a year. I think I think I did my first hundred between 2012 and 2013. I hit I actually hit 100 in June 2012. But my first hundred within a year span was 2012 2013. So it was working really good. But fast forward to modern day, 240 in a year. Okay, and and there's plenty. I'm not. I've said this. I'm I'm combining stuff from a lot of other videos right now. Um, I'm not just like trying to rack the numbers, so to speak, like even the past week alone, I passed up on four or five pretty easy layups. A couple of girls, new girls were framed to the house for sex, but I'm prioritizing my rotation over them. I'm prioritizing some business stuff over uh, new dates or new opportunities uh, for chicks. And I, the rotation chicks are all really, really cool. Um, having awesome sex with them, awesome experiences with them. The quality of the European chicks, both physically and um, internally in terms of personality and intelligence and all that stuff, just night and day. Uh, and I already have experienced that before, but that heavily contributed to wanting to stay here for um, another year. The American girls by far are more flaky. They give tons more bullshit. There's tons more power struggles. Um, they're far less intelligent in general. Um, they're more disrespectful. Uh, they're more slutty. Just lots of really negative qualities like that makes what I have found to make most American girls pieces of shit. Sonny wrote a whole book about this <sighs> of tyrants and tellers and he explores how uh, a, lot, a lot of this is due to um, Western influence from the, the media and the, uh, music and cultural programming. So Eastern Europe is one of the last, you know, havens for finding uh, quality girls. South America is pretty dangerous. Latin America is pretty dangerous. Um, Asia, it's hard to speak the language. There's a big language gap. And Western Europe, as well as Australia and New Zealand, are, are facing a lot of the same uh onslaught from the, the media and the programming that has already swept America. So, um, how did I evolve and optimize my method? These points here, I constantly have been scanning for weak spots. My mind is very, like a big system, like a big algorithm. I think in flowcharts, I think in system terms. I used to work on nuclear missile defense and devise systems for defending our country against biological, chemical, and nuclear missile attacks. And why did I excel at that? I'm a systems guy. I studied computer science and philosophy, undergraduate. Again, systems. I'm really into cognitive science, neuroscience, quantum physics, nanotechnology, artificial intelligence, consciousness. All these things provide systematic, algorithmic introspection into um, philosophical areas of interest or areas of interest that have profound impacts like what I believe happens when we die which I think is nothing um, I'll make some philosophy videos to give my, my thoughts um, but I think, I think life after death will be like life before birth um, I'm not going to go on and on here but the point is I'm, I'm looking at things in terms of a system so I'm scanning for weak spots so I can find areas to target for improvement. Okay, what is running suboptimal and what are the biggest bang for the buck areas to improve and how can I improve them? Constantly looking for guys that are better than me at any of the game. And I still, that applies to, to this day. If I met a guy that was crushing it, had been with hundreds of chicks and he beat me at a certain area, again, skill-wise, and you can measure that through metrics I've discussed in this video, um, I would pay them for coaching. I have to, even at, um, even after having fucked almost a thousand girls, I would pay them for coaching. What does that say? And most guys that are terrible at this wouldn't pay them for coaching. That's how I got this, this place in the first place. Constantly seeking out guys that are better than me. I'm going to keep moving because I'm already almost at 10 minutes. Um, constantly innovating by split testing new concepts, testing them that, like the wind date to the house, different tech sequences. And in my new product that I'm going to be putting out called the Lead Machine, which is going to be very heavily on managing leads, which I think is... The big secret sauce, getting your leads to meet up for dates, which is when you close them. 
Um, so that's going to be really focused heavily on the lead management. Um, and I've built out this giant flowchart that spans literally everything I'm doing and how to handle every single situation to manage the leads, which is going to be like a nuke when I put this out. I've already, I put it out to a guy to test for a few, uh, I gave it to him for two days to test and he got three new closes just using it's a formula basically. Um, and it's being hand delivered. Um, okay. What else we got here? Yeah. A little bit of background about me. I worked for RST in 2012 and I saw my own company. I have over hundred in field footage pulls on camera, more proof than anyone else. Um, RSD was the old school woo woo. Now we have new age woo woo with, with social prime and some of these other companies that are just dismissing results, dismissing strategy and tactics, which is, I've turned out lots of amazing guys at this. It's from strategy and tactics. Huh. I had a little slide cause I, um, tear into guys. I'm going to be putting out a video next week where I go through like every coach in the industry and destroy them. But only the ones that are lying about results, lying about skills, acting like a faggot, which as I say here, comes in all shapes and sizes, uh, shitty role models for pickup guys in terms of being beta or, you know, dressing like a fucking crazy person. Like most of the RST instructors do this day, these days or being a complete fat ass like Luke. Or faking infield footage, you're giving, giving bad or incorrect advice. Um, I'm actually a very laid back guy, blah, 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 blah. And then I showed some infield footage compilation and, oh, fuck, this chick's here. All right. So, good enough. Oh, some insights as I approach a thousand ways. Day game is BS, waste of time. Most of the clothes are going to come from dates, not pulling. I'm probably the best that I've ever met at pulling. You know, I haven't met myself. I've, I've yet to meet someone better than me at pulling. But still, the majority of your, your clothes are, you can only pull one chick a night. And it, it's not a guarantee that you will. So the secret sauce of what I'm doing is acquiring hot girl leads, managing those leads, closing those leads. And that's going to be the focus of my next course. Um, get at least 10 to 15 phone numbers per night. Well, I shouldn't say at least. Try, aim for that as the goal, but get at least five. Use Tinder and Bumble Daily. Two clothes a week is going to give you 104 clothes a year. So it's, this is just a numbers game. It's a skill game too, but it's largely a numbers game to be running, running the numbers here. Um, okay, let me just tell her. Um, more insights. You have to get professional pictures for online game. You can't just put your fucking bathroom selfies and, and other stupid bullshit with shitty cameras and shitty angles and stuff. You need professional pictures. It's essential. You're not even in the in the fucking online game if you don't have professional pictures. Um, you need to be moving things towards the close. That goes for every step of game. Most guys are spinning their wheels at a various step or another. If you don't know what I'm talking about, look at my five hour video on the tactical game breakdown where I show the flow. You don't need to watch the whole thing if you don't have time. You see the flow of how it needs to be moving forward. And when it veers off course, move it forward. Jordan Belfort, straight line persuasion system. Jordan Belfort is from the Wolf of Wall Street. Um, fuck. It's a straight line persuasion system. It's going forward along the line. The prospect can not comply or, or basically not go with the program to move forward any step of the way. He knows the optimal and quickest way to bring them back to that line and move it forward again. That's my pickup system in a nutshell. Um, series of critical points. Okay. Well, we will, this will be to be continued. One second. <clears throat> Um, critical points. See, these are the critical points in that game, how to adapt to each piece. Um, I have a video on why state is BS, video bashing RSD, 30 products, goals, uh, never to keep you good. Um, 14 main objections, you need to know how to answer these, can't leave my friends, blah, 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 blah. That's in my product. Um, you're learning pickup wrong. I have a video about this, blind leading the blind. Um, coaches are faking results. I mean, we'll make a video about this. Um, social Prime is doing away with all external game tactics. Um, you can't master your chest or poke with the time travel to release inner blocks. All right, that was the most of the presentation. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, and I will continue to keep pumping these videos out. I hope this is helpful. Here's to 952.